Ahoy, everyone. This is David Eugene Perry, and we're in the Zoom room this morning with Linda Moran, Artistic Director of Agabello, the, well, the Bello Gents, as they like to be called, the all-male choral group in Palm Springs. And to commemorate the 60th anniversary of the first James Bond film, they're doing a very special series of shows. And Linda, you're going to tell us about it. Good morning. Good morning. Great to be here. Thank you, David. So for those people who haven't been lucky enough to hear Acabello in the desert, tell our viewers how they came to be formed and who are they? Great. Well, Acabello is a unique um, addition to the choral music scene in the Coachella Valley. Um, it started by our founder, Rich Cook, who was the original founder of Men Alive in Orange County, the Gay Men's Chorus. And so Acabello started as a little offshoot, as a little more elite, small group. It's kept at between 12 and 16 men tops. And all the men are auditioned. They're all soloists in their own right. So the sound is off the charts. I mean, they are delicious men, all gorgeous and talented. And uh, it is what we consider the premier choral group. And uh, we also do a little difference. We incorporate with, as the artistic director, a little more staging. My background is choreography and performing as a dancer, professional dancer for a long time. So they brought me in uh, to add a little panache to the group. So we do just very, very strong choral singing, but add an extra dimension of vocal performance in there, some staging and dancing, and it's a lot of fun. Well, of course, during COVID, the performing arts groups didn't have places to perform or audiences to hear them. It was rough, and I know it was rough on Acabello, but I know a few months ago when Acabello finally came back to the stage, it was not only sold out, you actually had an encore performance. It was so popular. And now you're about to open your 2022-2023 season with something as a big James Bond fan I'm excited about. Talk to us about Bond, James Bond, the evening that's coming up next month. Awesome. Well, it came to our attention actually through one of the husbands of one of our singers, Daryl Kosak, our bass player. His husband, Johnny Navarro, brought a theme idea to us, and we weren't aware, we weren't as uh, aficionados of the James Bond franchise, but he mentioned last year, you know, this was the 60th anniversary, if you can believe that. 1962, Dr. No came on the scene. And James Bond franchise, one of the longest running successful franchises. Um, it just garners a lot of appeal. Everyone we've mentioned it to has just their eyes light up. And so we are commemorating October 5th is the 60th International James Bond Day. So our show is going to be October 7th, 8th, and 9th at CV Rep in Coachella, in the uh, Cathedral City, in the Valley here. Tell our fans of James Bond, of which I'm one, what to expect. Are we going to hear Goldfinger? Are we going to hear Diamonds Are Forever? We got you covered. <laughs> well, as we got into this idea, you know, you forget the wealth of music, iconic theme songs. And as I researched, it was very interesting that people, the producers of each film, it became a huge deal who obviously was going to be the Bonds as they evolved, the Bond girls, and then who would do the theme songs. So we've got songs from Paul McCartney, Adele, Madonna, uh, Shirley Bassey. Nancy uh, Sinatra. Nancy Sinatra. Nancy Sinatra. We have sprinkled in to our James Bond theme a little lightness with the Austin Powers spoofs. So we're going to not only have Goldfinger, Diamonds Are Forever, um, Live and Let Die, Skyfall, opening with the theme song and the iconic gun barrel. So there'll be a lot of uh, fun projections added into the show some spectacular lighting. We're going to have a three-piece orchestra, little band. We'll have a piano, drums, and a bass guitar on stage playing. Um, and then we're going to be spoofing Secret Agent Man. And we have a wonderful guest artist, uh, Sheila Ellis, 
who brings that Shirley Bassey sound. She is sultry and stunning. Um, she's going to be a go-go dancer in Secret Agent Man. So um, she's going to do Moonraker. Um, we, we have just got, let me look here. As I... oh, this is great. We've just got a few minutes left. Don't give away all the secrets, okay. but uh, tell us a little bit. Now you've got three shows. You've got one at seven o'clock and then two matinees at four o'clock and four o'clock, correct? At CB yeah. Rep right there in Cathedral City. Now, if people want to buy tickets, they can go online to acabello.org. And since some people say, oh, you mean acapello? No, it's acabello. So we're going to put it on the link so people have no trouble finding it, but spell awesome. the website for people so they can find tickets. We really appreciate it. They are in for a, a treat. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, tickets are $40. Deal out here in the desert for a live performance. And yeah, they'll learn a lot of little history and spoofs and little tidbits about Bond. And we look forward to it. Great. So uh, for our guests uh, who are watching, spell out the websites. We make no mistakes. And sometimes it does sound like acapello, but it is acapello.org. Yeah, some people think we do sing. We will be doing a few songs in this show, acapella. But our name came from a more like beautiful, you know, a little beautiful sound, acapello. It's two Bs and two Ls. So it's A C A B B. E L L O dot org. A-C-A-B, that's A C A B B E L L O dot org. Acabello dot org. Mm -hmm. In our last few moments, Linda, is there anything you'd like to say that uh, you want to say to the audiences that have been so supportive of Acabello over the last few years or about the wonderful men that make up this, this chorus? This group, yeah, is thank you. They, they are so special. When I went in the first time and heard these men, I was like, I've been doing this for decades, but off the charts. And it's not just the sound, their spirit, their soul. These men are gentle giants and just beautiful men and love to get together. Acabello is a family and our audiences become part of our family. So we really, we love our audiences and all the support. And another little tidbit, in November, we will be auditioning, holding auditions for our spring show. So every once in a while, we have a few new men come in and some leave for various reasons. So if anyone is interested out there, we, we usually have four parts, you know, four tenor ones, tenor twos, um, baritones and basses. So we love anyone coming out. If you'd like to get involved, we do a lot with our volunteers. So it really is a fun organization to be a part of. Well, I know where I'll be on October 7, 8, and 9th, correct? Correct. 7 at 7, 8 at 4, 9th at 4 p.m. at CV Rep. Don't miss Acabello and Bond. James Bond. We've yes. been speaking with Linda Moran. Thank you so much. We will see you at the theater for Acabello to commemorate the 60th anniversary of the first James Bond film. Ahoy. Thank you. Thank you very much, David. Thank you, audience.